This is a uh, steering box. This is a pitman arm. This is a wearable pitman arm because it has, you know, a stud, non wearable. It's going to have a center link that goes through here, you know, a stud from the center link rather. And then uh, your pitman arm is going to be an open hole. But to get your uh, pitman arm off, you're going to need a socket. This is a Delphi steering box. I believe it's a 600 series or 670. Commonly on these uh, later model GM trucks, Jeeps, uh, maybe even some other Mopar products. But um, these are getting pretty common now to replace the old Saginaw box. But the uh, problem is your pitman arm wears out. So in order to get this out, you're going to have to get this nut off. This nut, it's a uh, 34 millimeter or 1 and 5 16 works. That's what I'm going to be using. Fits a little loose, but it'll get it off. Put your socket on your gun. Boom, just like that, comes off. Make sure too, I like to always keep this square, so it moves a little bit. Keep the pitman arm square again. Now, you need a pitman arm puller. Goes on pretty much like that. This has a seal. It's gonna give me problems, I'm gonna have to push that seal up. Yeah, if you get a dust boot, you see that? You're gonna need a little screwdriver to push that in. So let me do that, I'll be back. With push the dust boot down, as you see. These blinds are now exposed, so now I can put my puller in it, just like so. You can also spray some penetrating oil into these little grooves, but this thing's been leaking, so power steering fluid is going to be my uh, penetrating lube, and that will work out just fine. Center it up, now you get a three-quarter socket, you got to tighten it. Tighten up by hand. Now I'm gonna put my impact socket on and give it a little uh, couple of blasts with the impact. Then I'm gonna start hitting it right here with a hammer. The pitman make this nice and tight. So it won't go any more tight. Then you're gonna start hitting it right here with your hammer. And then you're gonna see the splines move up a little bit. It's gonna break. But I can't really do this with two hands, so I'm gonna be whacking. Alright, after you beat the crap out of it, you see, the mushroom did a little bit. You're gonna notice your tool is loose. That means you broke it loose. Watch this. Oh, came off. It's easy as that, folks. People go, um, they bitch and complain that, oh, I can't get the thing off. Do what I did. Any little puller works. This is a cheap little KD puller. Made in Taiwan, you put it on there, you snug it up with your impact, hammer it, snug it down some more, hammer it, snug it with, you know, with impact back and forth, and start beating the hell out of it. Boom, 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 boom. Until that piece gets a little loose, or you see it jump up a little bit, and uh, you're good. You can get this thing off. In these trucks, you're probably going to have to remove the steering box to get that off on these 9906 trucks. There's not much room to work. The steering box, believe it or not, comes off pretty damn easy. And it's easier working like that than money's a truck, believe me. So, that's how you do it. Hope it helps someone. Follow my tips, and you will be successful. And if you like this video or Delphi steering boxes, please subscribe.